This is Susan Hall's property. Uh, we're going to be doing quote for a yard cleanup, but then also uh, we're doing a quote for monthly visits to maintain the property. So as I'm talking about it, it applies both to the cleanup and the monthly as well. So um, just this area here just needs to be blown out, weed sprayed. There are a lot of little ground covers like this that we need to trim back from the pathways. Uh, this, this shrub right here, uh, we want to get it down closer to fence height, so probably take out about a foot of this and then don't make it too much of a square or a rectangle kind of round off the top. We'd like, we'd, we'd like it more rounded. Um, this perennial, it does come back every spring, but it gets a little sad looking. So this time of year, we leave the blooms, but all these leaves and everything, just cut them all the way back to the stock. Flowers like this African daisy right here, um, once they're spent blooming the way it looks right now, uh, we need to come in and cut off all the blooms, but also you can see a lot of um, old growth here and you can see inside it's starting to grow fresh. So we actually wanna cut it down to about six inches. So all this, we wanna remove all this old growth so that it grows back fresh, okay? So um, it applies to all the plants in this yard. When they, stop, when they stop blooming like this, we just wanna cut off all the old bloom and get it down lower. Um, more ground cover here. There are weeds, so this whole area, this is actually all weeds, and they are starting to encroach on the ground cover. You can see the weed right here, and then you can see the ground cover right here. They're very similar, but they're actually different, so we need to carefully strain trim this, and then use a, use a non-selective herbicide to kill off all of this right here. And you can see, let's see. So this is the ground cover, that's good. But this right here is all weeds, and it's starting to go in, so we wanna clear this nicely make sure it's all clear um, as we're maintaining it also there are weeds in here pull out all the tall ones and then we'll spray it regularly to make sure that they don't come back in this is another example where we want to edge away from the from the pathways and then all that sped bloom we're going to use a hedge trimmer to cut it down so it can bloom fresh the lantanas there's one here there's one over there um, we do want to uh, keep them in a round shape not rectangles uh, especially that one, uh, make them more round. They're too rectangular. And then when after winter time and spring, we are gonna cut these back drastically because it's got all this old growth right here that uh, looks really messy. So we're gonna cut back a lot more later, but for now, just round it off. There's another lantana here. We're gonna maintain it. There's some weeds in there. Um, these agapanthas are, are blooming right now. When the blooms are spent, like this one's getting spent, we're just gonna cut it down all the way. So don't leave spent blooms. This right here, so we got um, African iris and then all this right here, this is actually a, uh, a weed, it's called nut sage. We wanna pull that out completely, use a shovel if we need to. So at the end, all that should be there is this uh, iris right here, everything else should be removed. Some more ground cover here. This has some weeds growing in here, we wanna pull that out. These, um, I don't remember what they're called, but um, Agapanthas, yeah, agapanthas. They have a lot of spent bloom right here. So all these stalks, they should just pull out. If not pulling out, they could be snapped. But you could snap them uh, all the way on the inside. There we go, like that. We just want to remove all that, okay? Um, some more uh, nut sage popping through. This is what it looks like. So whenever we see this, we want to make sure that we pull this out with the root. It's a nut sage. Don't let it, don't let it continue to grow. Um, this is just a really spent uh, bulbs here. So we're gonna pull all this out, but leave the bulbs in the ground. They're gonna come back next year. Keep an eye on this vine. So we just wanna keep it uh, trained to this trellis. We don't want it to come out anywhere or get wild. Um, this camellia uh, just needs a light shaping. It's, it's not blooming yet, yeah. So we could, it could use a light shaping. Don't go drastic on this. This uh, hydrangea shouldn't be touched this time of the year. We'll leave it alone. This ground cover here, just every visit we need to trim it back and don't let it go into um, the patio. It will spread, so our, our goal is going to be to keep it trimmed back. And then uh, once again, winter time, it does go kind of dormant. We're going to just cut it all the way down so it comes back fresh. I mentioned this lantana earlier. We just need to make it more of a round shape. Uh, the customer does prefer that. It looks more natural. We want to keep these rounded. Um, Keep up with these uh, rosemaries, so don't let them grow in here. And then just keep them from getting too high as well. So just let them cascade over the over the um, 
retaining wall, but don't let them come back in here and don't let them get too high. We, are, we need to keep an eye on these weeds here, screen trim them and then spray them. Same thing here with these irises, just pull out all the spent growth. There's some weeds in here. We're gonna keep this um, topiary shape nicely. Just, just regular pruning with that. Same thing with this camellia. Another hydrangea, leave this alone, leave that hydrangea alone. This uh, crepe myrtle does peel. So when it's peeling like this, we just wanna rake out all of the bark here and then get all that debris out of here. You can see how this hyd... Oh, actually that's a volunteer. So dig out this volunteer. But this hydrangea is starting to grow into this pathway. We wanna keep that pruned back. And that's it. So we are gonna do either a cleanup here or maintenance. We'll find out later, but the all these uh comments apply to both of those okay that's it